So I just wanna do a quick review of this fountain pen ink from Jay Erbin. This is called Blue Nuit, so that's Night Blue. Uh, I've heard this called Midnight Blue as well. It's about a $12 bottle of ink. It's a 30 milliliter size, it's made in France. It's from this Jay Erbin company, which has been making ink since 1670. So they probably know a thing or two. Comes in a glass bottle quite handsome, has a built-in pen rest. So if you have a pen, which I hope you do at this point, you can put it right here. Pretty cool if you put your, keep your inks out, then you can just rest your pen there. Gets the job done. The, uh, yeah, so pretty standard little bottle, works well for refilling, not a whole lot to say. As for the color, if you look at the ink in the bottle, or on the cap, it looks really dark. It looks like a blue-black. Uh, obviously from the name, Midnight Blue, and from using it, or like uh, just from seeing samples online as well, it's uh, it's a dark blue, but it's, it's much more of a standard blue than I would have expected just from looking at the bottle. It has a sort of a faded appeal to it, which uh, I don't love, but I could see some people find it be quite appealing. I did a couple Samples already, you can see the J Urban, the Blue Nuit, 30 milliliter, and I wrote that with that Platinum Preppy right here. So you can get a good look at that blue with that Preppy in medium, and then here with uh, a lot of ink down. And then I did some other standards here. This is an Ackerman Blue Black from their you know Meisterstruck collection or whatever their masterpiece collection is called. I'll put all the links down below in the notes. Pilot Conpecky, here's a Pilot Blue. Uh, so pretty good variety there. And you could see a true blue-black, kind of a, uh, a cerulean or like a, a blue with some more pop, a very standard blue. And then here's the Erbin, which is kind of has that sort of faded appeal to it. It's got a nice businessy type feel. It's like a serious blue. I heard someone, I, I read someone call it which I think is a pretty apt description. Someone else likened it to faded dungarees, which I think is pretty good too, if you want a more like concrete metaphor for it. Uh, just, just to be clear, this on this Triumph Clairefontaine paper, which is, I would say, very smooth, but not the smoothest available. Uh, just to do a little writing, I have found this ink to be a little on the watery side, but, but overall very well behaved. And so this is the, and this is a medium or 0.5 millimeter platinum preppy. So dry times for this ink are actually pretty good better than I expected. Uh, you know, not the best out there, but definitely better than average. And this is a really smooth paper, so it doesn't really, it's not that absorbent, I guess is my point. So uh, quick-ish dry times. I haven't done any real serious testing, but pretty good there. It is uh, on the watery side, so it does have very good flow. And in fact, after picking up a pen like this for uh, some time, You'll, you'll see that it will write immediately. And no problems there. As far as like the actual characteristics on the page, there's not a whole lot to it. Like there's not a lot of shading here. Multiple passes will not do a whole lot for you. You feel your paper start to wear down actually, which it is a little bit on the watery side. Uh, again, some people, I'm reading here that it says medium saturation on the Goulet page, which uh, doesn't seem quite right to me. It just seems like uh, it has a sort of faded look to it, which I don't particularly, doesn't have a lot of appeal for me. I don't love it, but uh, here's is again, fully set. I don't love it, but I could see how someone would like it. It does have a sort of businessy vibe uh, and like it is serious as people have called it. Uh, no, I won't test it here, but 
just sort of medium water resistance, nothing special there. It's not a permanent ink, but uh, it doesn't, you know, shy away from water the way some of these do. And uh, you could see here it is. Definitely not, there, there is some, you know, viscosity and it is sticking to the sides a little bit. So uh, if you use that as a judge, there you go. So I guess long story short, this is a very nice and well-behaved ink. That's a reasonable day-to-day -day ink, but I haven't found it to be like special in a lot of ways. It doesn't have a, a real pop to the color. It doesn't have any real characteristics that are driving me crazy. It's just like if you need something for every day and something that's gonna do the job every day, day after day, week after week, since 1670, then I think this is a good ink. Although I don't think they've actually made this color for that long. But again, it's a solid ink and it doesn't have a lot of like pop or characteristics, but that also means you probably won't get tired of it over time. So good day-to-day -day type vibe, but you know, if you want something special or something fun to write with on the weekends or write a letter or whatever you do, then uh, I don't know if this is the right one. But yeah, so that is the Blue Nuit. Thanks for watching.